delighted to be celebrating 10 years of your exhibition. I can't really believe I'm here, so thank you for that. I had a very unique voice from when I started on and a lot of people defined it as niche and a lot of people thought it's very specific and it is, it's very personal, mm -hmm. my work, but I think in a very crowded space now, the more singular your voice, the more timeless I think you can build it to be. How does one appreciate the museum exhibition differently than a runway exhibition? For me, it's the details, it's the curation, it's the journey and the way it's staged, the kaleidoscopic mm -hmm. part. You know, you look through one side and you look through a different season and you see how they all connect and the dialogue they create. And we do so much intricate work with embroidery and different techniques. For somebody studying fashion or studying textiles, it's about really understanding the construction of the garment, the materials. So until you see it up close, you can't appreciate the tactile nature of some of these clothes. Sometimes people imagine that designers and artists work from the wrist down. <laughs> and you know you're thinking a lot about your work you're doing a lot of research instinctively you design certain things and then you need to spend the time to actually analyze why did i do that what did it mean what does it mm -hmm. mean about me about the brand how does it connect to a woman who uh, feels something fans of your work they love to hear your insights about it that takes it to a whole different level yeah i, I think you never think like that as a designer you think you know your work speaks for itself but it's so important to be able to connect in a real way and you don't have that maturity of thought when you start out sometimes I have some discoveries three years on I was like oh <laughs> that must have been it <laughs> some fashion is moody but your work exudes optimism and color and joy I consider my work an extension of my personality mm -hmm. I'm an optimist I'm open I am positive and that is reflected in my work color used as a wellness tool is so important these Ooh, days that. you know there's color theory you know when you wear magenta or when you wear yellow or you are subconsciously attracted to color but it's incredibly uplifting clothes can do that for a woman if you feel confident in what you're wearing you project your best self many designers were more on the path of minimalism and so coming with exuberant color and bold prints was very taboo when you put a print like mine on the runway it obliterates everything else behind it above it <laughs> below it how would you describe the Mary Catranzu woman there confident, accomplished women who are very generous and exude positivity. I think how people attach emotion to certain items and how they want to bring beauty around them is such a human instinct and it's so connected with what you put on your body. We teach interior design at SCAD and I notice a symbiosis between interior design and fashion in your exhibition, especially that fabulous Chesterfield sofa slash bomber jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I was brought up around design and I studied initially textiles for interiors so I think there's something about taking a 3D object and seeing how it connects to the 3D-ness of the female figure that has been a fascination of mine from the hourglass silhouette of a perfume bottle to the technique of a Chesterfield sofa so I think it's a recurring theme that comes in and out of my work. It's all three-dimensional design when you think about yes. it. Architecture, furniture and fashion. So many different aspects to your work. What is your definition of style? Style to me is an expression of personality and a timeless one. It's something that transcends, I think, that moment of time that we are in now.